Hello, welcome to another play date at Be Divine Vintage. I've got so much going on at the moment that my desk is overrun with goodies. First of all, this morning, let's take a look at our grungy Christmas journal and what we're going to do to it next. So this is virtually dry. You know when things still feel sometimes just a little bit damp. I did the um, crackle on it. It's crackle gel, but it's I didn't put loads on because I didn't want to lose the ridges. But and it is starting to crackle underneath, but it's not hundred percent dry yet, so it will crackle more. Um, I want to look inside. I want to put some uh, gesso on here. So I've got my roller, I've got my little palette knife, and I've got my gesso. And I'm literally just going to put the gesso onto here as such. And I am going to just roll it around. Remember, this is a grungy journal, so we don't want anything looking too shiny and fresh. Do we? So I was up at the crack of dawn this morning, so I've already done one video, which you probably will have seen yesterday. Uh, done the video, I've done some ironing, I've done a little bit of work for my work, which was my holiday today. I shouldn't have really been doing it, but it's my business, so sometimes needs must. I've done some iron in, I've put some washing in. Been no stopping it today. And that, my friends, is that. As regards the gesso, so now the scene is set inside these pages to do whatever I'm planning to do next. Let me just give that the quickest of all drives. I'm just going to get stuff out the way. It's going to be 10 seconds, this, that's all. Do not fear. <laughs> all right, and I've gone to 15. Wonderful. So let's turn it over and I have got a festive looking stencil here. I'm not quite sure where I got that from. And my next layer is Distress Paste Crackle. So it's Tim Holtz Distress Texture Paste Crackle. And I'm going to sit down for this. Oh, scrumptious. Is it all right? thought for one crazy moment that it might have gone off then. That was at the top. Right, so I'm going to pop my stencil on and I'm going to start to spread this crackle onto it. Oop. Not talking much because there's a lot of heavy concentration going on here. Big concentration. So I'm going to just keep adding layers of different pastes and textures and more pastes and textures until I get exactly 
what I'm happy with. So that's why I said, welcome to playtime. I love this. This is really, really, really crackly. So it's bank holiday again in the UK. I say again because we always seem to be having them. I think we only have eight a year, but they just seems as though we've got them going all the time. So my nursery shut. Staff are off. I'm off. Well, I would be off anyway. Oh no, I wouldn't because I'm starting to. Although I'm retired, I am working, trying to. Uh, <laughs> not going to work. So I'm retired. But it is, it is the year end. Financial year end. My, my son, who runs the business, is not being so good. So I've been pulled in a lot more covering my son. And um, Wendy, who runs the education side of things, has had family bereavement. So she's not been in either. So I've been quite busy. Quite, 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 quite busy. But I think I've done an okay job. But I'm going to... All the... I mean, the baby, we have a lot of babies and toddlers that are in all year round because we're not, we're a private nursery, so we cover parents who are working. So we have a lot of babies and toddlers and we have a few preschooling as well who, who've not gone to Granny's. But everybody's back on the 4th of September. So as from the 4th, my son's come back into work now, he's sort of done a third, doing a third return so I'll just be for these next few weeks going in on a Monday except for next Monday because I'll be in Germany yay on my Rhine cruise can't wait I'll be in and out of all the old churches my mum said I'll be sitting me down somewhere with a nice coffee and a cake which it's going to be beautiful out, I'll be like to say, and you can go and look at the churches and I'm like quivering with excitement. I love medieval churches and architecture. Right, I've done that. So I'm going to take that off. Oh. It's not all stuck on there. It's a bit disappointing. Bit disappointing. Uh, it's come off with the stencil. Maybe it is just starting to go off. Never fear. Never fear. I'll be back in one sec. Just let me wipe that off. One, give me one sec. Sing, sing to yourself. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Well, I don't know what happened there. Maybe it is just starting to go off. Oh, it's one thing if I could choose to have in my craft room would be um, a sink. Anyway, we're, we're looking at maybe moving later this year. So uh, we were looking at this house. And it had, would you believe, two kitchens. And I'm like, whoa, that second kitchen can become my craft room. Right, I'm going to carry on in the same vein because, 
because I am. I'll be going out. I'm, I've got another layer, translucent layer planned yet. So I'm okay with this. I'm okay with it. It's going on a bit better now. It's dampened down. Tim, what's happened here? I've not had this very long. I've not had it very long. And I bet I had the lid on. Maybe I didn't have the lid on properly. Oh, well. There you go. You win some, you lose some. Lesson learned. Always make sure you've got your lid on properly. I mean, it's, it's like butter. It's coming out like butter, so... I don't know it should come out like margarine. I don't know. I don't know. So... Really, all I wanted was those textury bits that are there. That would have been nice, but never mind. Never mind. Maybe it's the stencil. Maybe it's the stencil. That'll do. That will do. Let me move this. <coughs> I'm putting it in the bowl of water. I'm back. I should have had a bowl of water in here with me, shouldn't I? Really? Right, well, uh... We'll have a look at that after. See what happened there. Right, so that now will be seen in a couple of days. Probably when I get back from the Rhineland. Alright, let's get back to the interior. So, <sighs> I have got, let's write that. I have got, I have got, I have got two pages. I've got this one, if you remember. This is page 25. Like that. And this is page 24. And this one has got a little tie up, little file folder with ephemera in. So now I'm going to do page 23. So I have already prepped my pages. So this is page 23. I'm going to, uh, I've stitched around the edge. I've put some fabric tape around the edge. I'm just going to do that and punch it like that. I'm going to get some paper from the back of there. I feel all at sixes and sevens now, like that. With that tin holes. Has anybody else experienced that with the texture paste? Or is it just something that just me? I'm just going to cover, put some paper on the back so that we've got something to write on. So that's what I've done on all the others. I've just left. The back's pretty blank, just the writing on. I've been decorating the front of the pages. Oh, it's thrown me, thrown me, thrown me. This threw me here, because my sewing machine, no matter what, would not stitch along the bottom. That's why I ended up putting more of the fabric tape across the bottom on the front side, but I thought, well, this back part can, um, It's a it's a grungy journal, so it can look grungy on my own frame. Yes, let's put. Oh, I should have gone around the edge first. Never mind. So the back part comes there can look grungy. Put that down. Distress oxide. I 
coming on my own. Do you know how many hours I slept last night? You're not going to believe this. So we'd been out for lunch and we came home and I felt so tired. It was about five, five o'clock. So I said I'll just have an hour before church. So I put my head down. Well, I was in, laying in the bed and I uh, woke up five o'clock this morning. I woke my husband and I said, um, I'm a bit late for church now. I said, why didn't you wake me up? He said, well, why have you woke me up? <laughs> oh, you know how it is. You know how it is. Right, so I got this napkin. Isn't it pretty? I love like the subdued uh, red tones in it. So let's just take it apart. Oh, that one's that ply's come off itself, so that's good. Say those bits. This do another layer, yep. Just get a little bit of uh, sanitaire and pull that off. Yeah, so I got up, had a coffee, made another video. Um sort of prep my things together for today and for this video obviously I didn't check my crackle glaze why would I have checked it though not added that one and uh, made, made hubby a cup of tea and went back to bed right why would I have checked it You tell me. I always check your equipment when I did my, I did a qualification for training adults. And um, continued professional development. And I'm gonna leave this square. And I did the training and one of the first things we learned was, before you start, I always just sort of check through your equipment. Just don't expect texture paste to distress texture paste, which you've not had very long. Just to start working like that. Do you? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Do you expect it to stop working? You expect it to stop working if you left the lid off. Maybe I've just cross threaded it or something. I just don't know. So I've just put that on with dry glue. And now in here is my Mod Podge that I made myself. But in this Mod Podge is coffee and golden coffee and golden. Uh, acrylic paint so it comes out looking like that it's a nice creamy colour gives a little bit of an antique see I've cross threaded it there it's a little antique type of there we go antique type of look with a bit of sparkle in it when it dries Oop. so let's just do this start from the middle and work outwards when you try and cut corners that's when things go wrong so my cousin has been sorting out um, old slides she's got loads and loads of picture slides not slides you slide up and down uh, down I mean not slide up a slide um, so she's been sorting them all out and she sent me some they were my grandma and granddad's. Oh boy, oh boy, did I ever laugh yesterday. Oh, one of my granddad in his trunks when he was like, I don't know, I probably, he was probably not very old actually, probably only in his, probably younger than I am. So he probably only in his 40s or so. But people, I don't know, seem to look so much older in the 70s, in the 1970s than, than, we look now, I think so anyway. <laughs> and I'd never seen my granddad in my trunk in his in trunks before. 
And that was pretty, yeah, pretty funny because he was like a bit like Simon Cowell. His trunks came halfway up his chest. Just dry this off. So, in within all these pictures was a picture of me and a couple of my cousins. And is that you, Ross? Just doing a video. Me and a couple of cousins, and my goodness me, and my little brother back in the early 70s. So, I'm only about six or seven. And honest to goodness, like my cousin said, it's the only time when shirts have been lighter than the wallpaper. My word. But anyway, if you go on my either Facebook, Be Divine Vintage Journals, or my Etsy, not my Etsy, my Instagram, Be Divine Vintage, you'll see me in this lime green not lime green, jade green, crocheted trousers say, oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, oh yes. No wonder I'm so psychologically damaged for life. People keep saying, hey cute, and I'm like, how on earth are you calling that picture cute? Look at the trouser suit. Right, there we go. Get it the right way up. Now, the fact that it's not sticking at the bottom, the fact that it's crinkly will be down to um, the way I've put it on by just putting that bit of drag glue underneath. But also the, the fact that the paper is very crinkly. If you remember it's my it's like this so it's very crinkly it's my eco dyed paper let's just do that this doesn't want to stick down it does not want to stick down in parts <laughs> get off get off don't want to stick to that, does it? Doesn't want to stick to that. Let's do that. Right. Give it a little quick dry again. I'm sending all these pictures to my mum, which I think are absolutely hilarious. And my mum's like, oh, what a beautiful picture. Oh, look at you there. Oh, that's beautiful. And I'm like, what? So I was going to pop that on there. Let's see, do we want a little doily behind it? Yeah, I think that'll look nice as well. So that was about there. Yeah, so my mum's like, oh, how beautiful. I love these pictures. Thank you for sending them to me. Well, 
at the same time I'm sending them like on our family WhatsApp and my family are howling in laughter. And I thought, well, perhaps when I'm older and my kids send me pictures of them when they were little, that, I, that I'll say, oh, that's beautiful. While they're howling in laughter and saying, why did you ever dress me in that? Right, so I've got this um, little Christmas happy holiday. It's beautiful. I think I got it in a rack. But I thought that would go really nice. And I'm going to stick it down fully so that we've just got that to go in there. Oh, I might, I might want to put on No, I'm going to put some holly or something on there. Oh, little deer. Oh, that's nice. Yes, I put the little deer on. So, yeah. So, my mum's... Oh, that's beautiful. She said, who are you with getting all these pictures? So I said, they're being sent to me, Mum. Just couldn't quite grasp that. But a lot of the pictures were in, were in Guernsey. My mum's from Guernsey, you see. So when we were children, we used to go to Guernsey a lot with aunties and uncles. And then when we got there, we'd stay at aunties and uncles. So... She loved it because it was Guernsey and she was saying, oh, that's, do you remember that? That's such and such a place. So, yeah. Look at that. I like that. That's Tim Holtz. Two. Right, let's pop this on. So we will put a good strong glue on the back. Our main screen so these I must stress that these pages are not all 100% complete because what I tend to do is I get the major sort of bones of my pages when I do a journal I get the major bits together that's Fabri-Tac and then at the end when the journal is virtually complete I'm going to put that at the bottom I want it at the bottom or up a bit. I want to put it at the bottom, yeah. The bottom of the paper. Yeah, and then when the journal's complete, I go back and add pins and buttons and stamps. By stamps, I mean like postage stamps and all sorts, bits and bobs. At the end so this is going to need a pick like this one's got 24 this has got 25 so i need to find a 23 but i'm not going to do that now but next time you see this it will more than likely have a 23 on it straight up there we go like that so now the main part of the page done. I'm going to put this in special delivery tag from Santa Claus. That's going in. Remember, this is the 23rd, so we're sort of heading that way, aren't we? We're heading towards that big 24th, big number 24. That'll go in there. Then I'm going to put this in as well. I thought that went in very nicely. Oh, you can just see his uh, antlers sticking out the top there. I'm actually going, oh, his head as well. I'm actually just going to cut this into the shape of a tag. But I'm actually not going to punch it or what have you. I'm just going to cut it. Just yeah, I'm just going to leave it in the shape of a tag. So on the back of here, I'm going to get my Distress Oxide and just ink it. I'm going to ink round the edge first. Oh, 
I've got some big numbers in another drawer of Tim Holtz dies and things, so I'm, I'll have a look in there for a two and a three. If not, I might find, you know, like a stamp, an old stamp that was 23p. Right, so that is that. That will be in there. Uh, so I need something to decorate that with now. Oh, actually, that will look nice on there, won't it? That's the tag I made before. But actually, just seeing it then, and it fits perfect, and it has that beautiful edge to it. I'm going to put that on there. So I need something a little bit stronger than the dry glue. I was just looking at me. I just turned my eyes to the left and there it was. It is nice sometimes just to have things ready made just nearby you so you can just jump on them. I was just going to think I'd do some like... Um, mixed media and then there this was I'm all mixed media ready for me there is another video on how I made these tags if you have a look through you will see it let's do this so I need a two and I need a three for that one I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take some of this. It's just caught my eye as well. In fact, I'm gonna take all of that. And I'm gonna just pop it through there. And pull it through there. This is this page, so I just need to put a 23 on there. Put that in there. Where do I put this in as well? That's there. If I get that actually. Yeah. Uh, special delivery from Santa Claus so I need a 23 on there and then this one here it is it's going to be page 22 so here it is gessoed, clear gessoed bandaged up plastered up because there was a whole tape stitched around going to the back you can see where the hole was there Let's just glue that those bits down. And get my filler out of my paper bag. Here it is. Oops, stuck to my hand. I don't know this is on the coffee dyed around the edge. But it has. Is it too big? It is. This is in my scraps pile. Let's get my tea dye. My rings are spinning. Go around the edge. Let's remember to go around this time. lunch in a minute and then I'm packing parcels for my Etsy shop. My Etsy's just, it's 
just on overload at the moment, which is good, which is good. But I have to get everything done and posted before Wednesday when my husband waves me and my mum farewell as we fly off to Nuremberg, not Nuremberg, Munich, and then have the two hour drive through the Black Forest to Nuremberg, which should be. Yeah, I haven't done here, I've not punched the holes, which should be amazing. I'm so looking forward to it. I've got all my claws sorted, I've got my Euros. Uh, everything is. So of course that's gone all of the holes. So we're gonna punch again. Yeah, so that is all going to be very, very, very exciting. So that's the front. This is number 20, 22. That's the back for writing on. Oh, Shall I pop a gingerbread man on the back? think we will aren't they just the cutest things when I was little the story of the gingerbread man was just one of my most favorite stories and when he got eaten I was like ah please don't eat the gingerbread man Mr Fox so you on, we'll have you there, and then that little red ribbon will come over. Oh, a bit of glue on there. Is it any surprise? No, right? Let's turn that over, just wipe that. So, what I thought on here is I want to put some. Christmas cards and things. I'm going to use my some of my vintage and Victor well Victorian cards, Chris Victorian Christmas cards, Chris not Easter Victorian Christmas cards, Christmas postcards. The postcards are vintage. So these are the colours I've sort of picked out. So here's the cards. Look how beautiful that one is. Beautifully made. Beautifully made. So it's best wishes and it's very textural. There's lots of little, these are layers. These, I don't think that, oh yeah, they are like embossed. I thought they were stuck on their embossed. And then this is like glittery over the top and round the edge and different glitter. There it is, a bright and happy Christmas. I think of you with wishes warm while the blessed seasoned music charm falls around us both for far away the tender grace of Christmas Day. And it's actually an unused Christmas card. So you could actually send that to someone if you wanted to. There is then this postcard. And it says, jolly thoughts for Christmas tide, a loving wish I'm sending you. And on the back, it's written upside. I don't understand it because the address is the right way around. Miss Page, but the message is upside down. Dear Violet, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year with love from Grandma and Grandad. Then there is this card. It says a Merry Christmas, may this good old fashioned greeting find you enjoying health and happiness. And that's written in pencil and it's to Minnie Dahl, I think. Dear friend, one and all, hope you're all well. And that's from Amanda, probably then written by a child that's from Carlisle. So I thought we'd use one of these as a sort of belly band. 
so I'm going to make that a bit narrower because it I want it sort of here so I need to cut off just check yes I need to cut off about two centimeters about an inch two and a half centimeters oh that's that thread I was looking for the other day so two an inch two and a half centimeters that way and I just want to cut off a fair few bits just want to cut off a little bit that way let's make this that's three let's make it two two inches wide and then this which is going to go across it let's make that an inch wide an inch and a half actually that'll go across there this is quite an easy one to do easy penis so if we put that there that can go hold on so we'll have the fold won't we that's gonna fold just going to snitch a little bit more off that only because of the way this book is going to fall because of it's going to be uh, fastened in there it's going to fold like that so virtually all of this um, cotton bit will be part of the fold so if we put that there and then we take that across. Let's just snip a bit off there. Right, let's get where it is the corner rounder and round all those corners. Christmas things up in a minute so I want to do um got to finish my magic magical tea party from line dot arrow I've got to finish that off and that is my mission today there's that so if we just put a little bit of fabric tack down each side Yes, it is. Let's put that there. Come on, baby. Yeah, people who show you how to craft all in that thing goes wrong. You would never in a million years believe that I actually have a qualification for teaching adults. They used to do a lot of uh, work with young people, sort of in sixth form college, in sixth form, a lot of young people with special educational needs. So if we put Coming off there. We put that in there. What I'm trying to work out now is if we put that then in there. So we've got that, that. And what about if we put that? And put that there. That's nice. 
And then I was going to put that on there. I think we'll put that in there as well. That can go in there because it won't work with that there. It wouldn't work coming in and out. So I'm going to just um, glue this onto there. That's about the middle, I think. Yep. Oh, the colour's lovely. I thought, oh, somebody's many, many years ago in Victorian times and vintage days has done those and knowing that I'd want those exact same colours. I just knew. So this is from an old uh, die cut, vintage die cut. And it says, to the loved ones at home. So I thought I would stick that on there. And that is page 22. Page 22. I'm going to go off camera now and I'm going to look through my numbers. For 22 and 23. I'm gonna I'm gonna be creative with my numbers if I can be I will. Oh beautiful. I like that. Looks nice, doesn't it? Let's zoom in a bit. So that's page 22. There's page 23. There's page 24 and there is page 25. Wonderbar. So thank you so much for watching. Please take care and um, I will see you very, very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.